listen it's me your boy is absent so if you have not subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe you get what i'm saying kindly subscribe i have something god rejection was for your protection stop crying over spoiling rejoice because he is redirecting you for better yes so <laughs> you know sometimes when some certain things occur in our life we cry over it when we lost some business we cry over it why because we have not discovered that sometimes god rejection is for our promotion when god allows some some certain people that you have never believed that they are going to live just like that if god allowed them to go is because he have something more special unique better for you yes i say so listen look at the life of david and saul not that saul was wicked you get it saul was a king he was good then but because of envy god allow so to go in order for David to become somebody so god will allow some certain people to live your life in order for you to get to your promised land listen moses was not wicked to israel he was never wicked but he saw the promised land but was unable to enter it why because god allowed him to make room for israelite God allow him to make way for them. God make God make Israelite to get to the promised land through what? Through Moses. You get what I'm saying? So God will allow some certain people to go. It's not because sometimes it's not because they are wicked. It's because he don't want you to miss the the what the spoil make with the news when make. You get me? Sorry for my for my for my headache because it's too cold. So the issue is that stop crying over the spoil make. Stop crying over people who leave you. Hey <laughs> God, you need to wait. Listen, you need to wait. I have something so amazing that you need. You know, sometimes you are in a relationship. Sometimes you are married. I'm not saying if you're married, so you are not comfortable with your married, that you should stay there because your life matters a lot. You get me? I have seen majority of people who died because they are trying to have patience in their marriage. Who the the men or the woman, one of them, do what? Kid each other because the other the opponent is trying to give chance for what for change. So sometimes you need to let some certain thing go in order for you to get the better one. Listen, if you keep crying over the spoil make. That the Lord allowed to go, the new make will not come in. Hey God! So God will allow some certain people go in your way because He has some, He has something great in the what in the inner room for you. It's not because sometimes they are wicked. It's because He don't want them to participate in that blessing that is so unique. Hey God! Listen, if you if you read the story of Samuel, Samuel, whom his mother is what Anna. So if you read the story, Eli, born two children, who's supposed to be a prophet, because after Eli, these two are supposed to take the throne of their father. You get me? But because of their inability to take um, accountability, responsibility over the israelite because they misuse the privilege they have god overthrown them and he give the throne over to what to samuel why because he want them to go he want that generation to go you get what i'm saying so god will not allow the new man to come in if he know that someone who is with you will not allow the men to remain forever he will let them go listen i i i po i posted a video talking about before god blessed you he needs to clean some certain things 
He need to cleanse you. He need to wash you. He need to purify you before he blessed you. So, this point make which you are crying over, God just allow them to go. Sometimes in relationship, you are dating a woman or you are dating a boy, any, any, any person at all. Sometimes God will do what? God will keep giving you revelation over and over and over and over. Because he knows that this person is not supposed to be in your life. This person is not supposed to be with you. You need to let him go. Why? Because he has someone better. Someone that will know the value you carry. Someone that will know that you are not, you are not what? How will I put it? Nobody is perfect. You are not perfect. That he need to take you the way you are. Someone that will be there with you. Someone that will know the potential you carry. Because there are some people who will not discover your value. There are some people, even if you try all missed to, to, to please them, to let them know that you are good, you are nice, they will despise you, humiliate you, and abandon you. So that relationship you, you left before, you are crying over it. Listen. Stop crying over the spoil make because God has someone that is about to come into your life. Is it job? You lost your job? Listen, that is not the end. You need to stop crying over it. You need to be expecting God wonders and miracle in your life. Why? Because you crying over spoil make cannot change God's direction. Because when God removed the spoil make, out of your life, he is ready to redirect you to the better place. He is ready to direct, redirect people into your life, people who will appreciate whom you are. Hey, God. Hey. 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 Am I talking to someone? Listen, stop crying over the spoiling because God has something unique, something break, something... Listen, you cannot... You cannot be what be be a, a how will I put it? You cannot be. <sighs> Let me put it in this way. You cannot be a fish owner and you will be begging for fish to eat. You get what I'm saying? You cannot be a a fish producer, meaning you have a company of a fish where they produce fish and you will still be begging for for what for fish to eat. No. So, you ha God have enough in his room for you. He have the reason why he, he let those spoil make go. He have the reason why he rejected those relationship. He have the reason why he let that guy, that woman to live your life. Because he is ready to redirect someone that is more better than them into your life. Hey God. God will do what he is ready to do in your life. Stop crying over things that he have already let go. Sometimes we kill re remem remember remembering our what our past. We kill recurring our past. People who have left us, people who have promised us and failed us, people who have rejected us. We keep doing what blaming ourselves over the mistake, over so certain things that occur. We keep Blaming ourselves, saying we are the fault, whether it is the cause or the cause of our forefathers, whether it is the cause of our ancestors, whether it is something that is originated from our generation. Why is it that whoever that come into our life don't stay? Whoever that come into our, our life for for marriage, for ETC, for business, they don't stay. Why is it that this marriage, this business is not growing? Why is it that these are not happening? How? Why is that things are hard for us? It's because God don't want you to live with the spoiled man. Hey, God. God don't want you to be eating the spoiled man every day. He has come to let you know that the time for you to eat the fresh man, to drink the fresh man, to eat the fresh meat, to drink from his own tap is now. So stop crying over people who leave you. Stop crying over people who betrayed you because your betraying have a reason. Every betrayed, everyone who betrayed you have, have something that they will drop for your promotion. 
So stop crying over people who betrayed you, people who gossip you. For God allows a certain things to occur in order for you to discover who love you and who don't love you. So God allows all those spoil me to live in your life because he don't want to miss to miss the what the good ones with the new one. Jesus make a parable in the New Testament saying, you, you can you wear an old cloth, a roti cloth inside and wear, and wear a new cloth. How will you feel? You will feel what uncomfortable. No matter how the new one is, the inside one, the one inside will do what? Will be crashing you. You will not, you will not feel comfortable. And he, he further again and said the word. He said, can you mix a spoiled wine with a new wine? For instance, you test a wine, it's so special, it's so good. It's, he he have a good test. And you test the other one. That one have already spoiled. Can you mix it together and drink? No. You separate you do a separate the two. That is the reason why God separates you from people who are not ready to promote you. So stop crying over the spoil make because God have reason why of letting them go. Because He have Something that he is redirecting into your life that is better than what you have lost. Hey God, God of wonders, you have done wonderful for me. God of wonders, you have done wonderful for me. I cannot count it alone. I cannot say it alone. You have done wonders for me. Oh Lord, God of wonders. He have done a lot for you. So stop crying over the spoil make because God has something special, unique in, in his room that he's about to release. Because he said he will pour out blessings from windows that there will not be room for you to contain it. So stop crying over the spoil make. You hear what I'm saying? So it's me your boy Kesa said, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe. And stop crying over people who leave you. I don't know who have tell you that you are not accepted. You are not a man enough. You are not a woman enough. You are this or that. Listen, God have something new for you. Are you a single mother up there? Hey, God, you have something new. God have something new for you. Are you a single father up there? Are you a, a, a single mother, single father? God have something. Listen, don't let the spoilment that have left bother you <laughs> it's me your boy case something i'm your boy you get me i'm your boy so i will not tell you lie stop letting the spoil make distract you from getting the new wine the new wig have you test new new make how it tests so it is good if you test new new what new make and spoil make there's a total difference so have patience cool your mind I think it's to tell all my followers, all my sons, cool your mind, download it, drink water and sleep and wake up and think well. You have reason to celebrate. So stop, stop thinking over spoil make because God have enough new make for you in his house. So remember, bless, it's me, your boy, Kisansen. Have a nice day. And don't forget to subscribe.